Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday, the 7th of December, we're off down to deeper Sussex on Tuesday to Font. Well, the ground at the moment, good. Um, I'm expecting it to ease. There's plenty of weather around in the area over the next couple of days. We start off with our value angle selection in the 120. This is the download the Casumo app today, novice handicap hurdle. Two mile, five furlongs and 164 yards. A class five for four-year-olds and upwards. £2,342 on offer. A 14 runner field. Plenty of them are pretty exposed in truth and find winning difficult. But I think the top weight, Nashville Nipper of Toby Laws, has got outstanding form claims. Now this one is relatively unexposed. He's had six runs um, so far without winning. But he's been running pretty well in the frame in a handful of handicaps so far. Um, starting off at this track over two mile three when a creditable if remote third behind jumping cats probably needing the run that day under Tom Cannon is back in the plate today then much improved when third at Ascot on soft ground so he won't mind at all if the rain arrives and last time at Utoxter he finished a fair fourth behind Akapenko arguably um, up, up on quite a strong pace throughout there and rallying having made quite a bad mistake two out very much shaping as though this slightly stiffer test of stamina nearly two furlongs further and a stiff uphill finish at Fontwell should suit him ideally as I say he's got course form a bit of rain won't do him any harm he just looks a class above these dropping down to a class five he does have to give away weight all round but as I say a positive ride on the cards from Tom Cannon who comes here fresh from winning his first grade one race at the weekend on Edward Stone his confidence should be high and I'm pretty confident Nashville Nipper will take plenty of beating for our nap of the day we go to the 12.50 this is the Kasumo Best Odds Guaranteed Handicap Chase 2 mile 3 furlongs 104 yards a class 4 for four-year-olds and upwards, just over three and a half thousand pounds on offer. Ten runners. The first thing to say is there is loads of pace on here. Um, Galileo Silva, Flaminger, um, lots of luck. There's Rizzardo down the bottom. There's at least four front runners, and I think this is a really good opportunity as a result for who shot who to finally end a rather frustrating run. Now, uh, Dr. Richard Newland. He's not flying along. He's had three winners in the last 14 days. He usually comes off the back of a bit more prolific summer, but I don't think he's quite got the ammunition this season. But who shot who has won two of his 19 starts. He's a pretty reliable performer. He's 10 now. Um, he's got ideal conditions here. He ran extremely well over this track um, at Fontwell back on the 20th of October in second behind Derbin. Now, Derbin's come out and ran an absolute screamer at the weekend at Sandown in a much better race. And who shot who was 48 lengths clear of the rest when second behind there been on soft ground here um, I say slightly shorter trip I don't think two mile three will be any problem at all he's got form over uh, two mile five in the past and further in fact three miles back in the day but he's basically a smooth traveller with a quirk or two they overdid things at Foss last back at two miles last time Charlie Hammond was up and they went off very hard in front I think he'll get a much more patient ride on this occasion that didn't particularly suit him um, hopefully you'll get Sam Twiston Davis is up and the blinkers are on I think he should go really close if they ride him just off the pace he can come through late up the hill and he should be a fair price best of luck on Tuesday betting expert